welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy and I'm back with another shoe review video. This time, as I'm sure you already know from the title, I'm gonna review my new Adidas Sambas. These have been trending for a little while now and I just got them from New York. I'm gonna split this review into categories like I did previously. And at the end, I'm gonna have a lookbook with a few outfits. So stay tuned for the outfits. So the style that I got, I believe these are just the original Sambas and this is in the white colorway. I know some of them have a different colored sole, but I think this is the most common one. Maybe I should go into the actual anatomy of the shoe a bit more. It's basically just like leather. It has this like gummy sole and it's leather with like the, the black stripes like Adidas. And then the front part, like the toe cap part here is like suede. This is actually men's. I got this in New York at the Adidas store in Soho. I wanted them for a while, but they just weren't sold here in Vancouver, or even if they were, they didn't have sizes. When I went to the Adidas store in Soho, this is actually men's, but they had a lot of smaller sizes. Honestly, when I went to New York, I was hoping that I could find these because I know a lot of people in New York wear them. And I was right because every other person on the street was wearing Sambas. And I copped myself a pair and I was surprised at the counter because apparently New York doesn't have tax over items over $100. Don't quote me on that. I don't actually know, but I wasn't taxed on them. So the price of these are, I believe they were 100 USD. Sorry, I don't have the receipt with me anymore, but they're 100 USD. I know I paid around 130 something in Canadian after the conversion. And honestly, I think they're worth especially because I had considered buying them resale like on StockX or something, but I just feel like it wasn't worth it. Like I didn't want them that badly. So next category is sizing. So what size did I get? Cause again, I had to get a men's size. So normally I'm usually a woman's six and I think almost all of my sneakers, it's like 23 centimeters. When I got, this is a men's US five. And at first I tried a five and a half, which still fit. Obviously it was a little bit roomy, but it wasn't gonna fall off or anything. So I was going to buy that one, but then my friend brought over this pair and I was debating which pair to get because honestly they both fit. I could have gone with either in my opinion, but in the end I decided to go with a smaller one because they're like over time it might stretch or like the leather might stretch or something. So I just went with these and they're fine. I was also debating between, actually no. When I bought them, I wasn't debating the color anymore, but when these first became trendy, I feel like the black ones were actually more trendy. But personally, and at first I considered the black ones, but after thinking about it a bit more, I'm just not a black shoe or black sneaker type of girl. So in the end, I opted for the white and I'm glad I did because I feel like I actually wouldn't end up wearing the black that much, especially once they're like out of trend or whatever. So overall thoughts about the shoe, are they comfortable? I would say they're comfortable. I wouldn't wear them like walking around all day cause they are a flat silhouette. There isn't that much support for your, like the bottom of your foot. So I wouldn't recommend wearing them to walk around all day, but I think on any normal day where I'm just driving or not even walking that much, I think they're definitely fine and comfortable enough. Wearability, personally, I think this style is a little harder to style than like the average sneaker or like other sneakers that I own. This is just my personal opinion, but I feel like this shoe kind of goes with a specific type of look. I mean, I think it does look pretty classic, although I do kind of see it being a trend piece. Like I don't I don't see it having the longevity of Air Force Ones, or obviously. I mean, nothing beats that. If you see one, I would still recommend you go buy them. I think the one nitpick that I have, which honestly I have with all my sneakers, I don't know if it's just a me problem or like what's wrong, but when I wear them, the tongue, it always moves to the side. It won't stay in the middle, but that happens with all my sneakers. So I don't really know what my issue is. And now let's move on to some outfits I style, even though I've primarily seen it with summer outfits like online and stuff. I think you can definitely wear it year round.
hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you end up getting a pair and how they work for you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.